So if you have workers in the Rust Belt, you need to finance retraining for them. Britain didn't do that. Not enough. The prevailing ideology was leave things to markets. That was a mistake in Britain. I think it's a similar mistake in the United States. If you have no stake in the future of the economy, it's rational to vote against more of the same. So, I mean, I disagree with the argument that said the people who voted to leave were stupid. I think they voted to a significant extent rationally. What stops people from poor backgrounds going to university is they don't have good enough high school graduation grades. And if you're serious about widening participation, and I'm deeply serious about widening participation, if you transfer money from higher education to earlier in the system to improve school performance, people are living longer, healthy lives. This is the, one of the greatest welfare triumphs of the 20th century. That's wonderful news, but if people are living longer, they need to work longer. But all countries have been slow to make that happen. My problem with the universal basic income is simply, if it's for everybody, the tax rates it requires are simply too high. But having elements of a universal basic income for pensioners and for children, I think, important. Good idea. If you want to make sure that technological advance doesn't create unemployment today, then you need to take the people who previously had medium level skills and raise them to high level skills. So the answer is, alongside technological advance, you need more investment in human capital.